What's good, BitRushers? My name's Kyler, and this is BitRush Crypto. Today we're going to be talking about the crazy NFT market, several NFT projects that I've recently got into, a couple more that might be coming down the pipeline soon, and that are possibly going to be big payouts. So if all that sounds good, go ahead and stick around. If you're new though, you know what to do first, and that is smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, members only gets you a few extra perks, and here we go. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is how to find great NFT projects. Um, the idea of this video is to kind of teach you guys what you need to know to get into the NFT game, start flipping some NFTs, and hopefully make some sick ETH gains. However, showing you the projects that I'm into right now and that are coming up may not be relevant in several months, so I think it's more important in this video to just kind of show you guys the process and also show you guys that are watching it right now some of the current uh, projects and NFTs that we're getting into and that we are excited about. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and join us on telegram at bitrush crypto we have some great members over there um, one of our members here is going to be keeping us up to date with any great nft projects that he sees and i'll also post anything that i have obviously as i usually do in the group to get there it's just t.me slash bitrush 9000 join up our group it's 100 percent completely free uh, but there's also lots of other telegram groups some of them are specifically for nfts and there's also discord groups um, and one of them is uh, where our member is getting some of these postings so we'll share some of that stuff in the group but go ahead and do your own research and find some other groups and join up and uh, get in there guys the other thing you're going to want to do is anytime you're looking at a potential project is get in their discord and their telegram if they have one and take a look at the community there um, how many people they have how many people are active in posting are excited about the project so that's going to be a great first place to start okay so next we're going to go over here to uh, twitter and again if you guys aren't sub to my twitter account um, go ahead and do it. It's at D5Brains is the new one. It used to be at BitRush9000. That account got banned for posting YouTube videos with ads on them. So um, go ahead and just sub to the new account if you're not already at D5Brains. I don't do a lot of posting on Twitter, but uh, it does help me out. So just go ahead and do that. Um, another thing you're going to want to do, guys, is make sure you follow all of the projects that you're interested in. See what they're posting, what kind of updates they have. You can also see how many people that you follow, follow them and things like that how many followers they have, what they've been posting, are they active? Um, all this kind of stuff is gonna tell you a little bit about their community and how popular these NFTs might be. It's not a make or break, but it does give you a good indication. In addition to Twitter, we can also obviously check out their website and just see what they got on there, if there's any blog posts, any news updates, anything like that, guys. Um, just get on there and check everything out. And, you know, you can usually tell by, you know, how many subs and the community between these couple places, what they got going on, how popular or how many users are going to be involved in the project. However, that's all for before the project launches. If you guys are trying to get ultra rares and things like that, you are going to need to um, buy in at the mint and try to get lucky if that's your game plan. Otherwise, you're going to have to buy them on the aftermarket. And obviously, they're going to be a lot more expensive on the aftermarket than it would be to buy at mint, especially if they're rares. However, there can still be some great gains to be had. Um, sometimes people just buy in bulk and relist them. Uh, and things like that so we can still take a look at after the project is launched and there's still lots of great projects you might need to just get a uh, nft to get involved in the project to you know start taking place and we'll talk about a few of those things later that you know there's different events and different things that happen after these nfts go live um, ones that have actual use case and so either way if you want to get involved in a project you may need to get one of these nfts um, so the next place we can go to kind of take a look at what's going to be good and what's not is over at rarity.tools, okay? And this is a tool specifically for the NFT marketplace. 
it's going to basically show you how much of each trait your nft has or what the rarest nfts out of that collection are so let's just go ahead and take a look at one here uh, i'm going to show you guys one that i recently got involved in here and that is the crypto cannabis club so um, let's take a look at this real quick so welcome to the crypto cannabis club it is sold out uh, i did not get involved in this in launch i got in about a week later and so i did have to buy one off of the market and at the time I actually didn't use the um, the rarity tool here but I'm going to show you you know kind of how I did it and then I'll show you how you could do it the rarity tool and how you know using the rarity tool does make it a lot easier um, but basically what this project is is it's a number one club for crypto and cannabis if you guys are into that you're going to get an nft toker one of these guys you're gonna have to buy them off open sea which is the secondary market and uh, after you get them, you're gonna be able to get some plants. So there's also gonna be some plant NFTs and then it's gonna kind of be like a breeding program similar to like Crypto Kitties, if you're familiar with that, where you can cross them or any of those other new ones that have come out, Axis Infinity or any of those where um, you're gonna be looking at the traits and then crossing them. And so it's gonna be like an online NFT cannabis cup, which is kind of cool. I like the concept of it. Here we go, with some of the NFT plants. So if you guys are into that kind of thing, um, just something kind of fun um, to get involved in and so I did pick one of these up and I'll show you guys that here in a minute but basically another place we can come to is OpenSea and we can browse the market and see what's for sale that's kind of how I purchased mine and coming over to my profile you can see I put my guys my profile picture there I was able to uh, pick a guy up he has some brown dreads with the rainbow vipers I really like that the rainbow pit vipers on there brown dreads and then what sold me on this one was actually the Spicoli uh, shirt if you guys aren't familiar with fast times at Ridgemont High one of my absolute favorite uh, movies a uh, really great funny movie there and Spicoli is one of my favorite characters um, you know we need some pizza time here mr. hand but anyway um, yeah so I saw the Spicoli shirt thought that was awesome dreads rainbow vipers little uh, buckwheat thing whatever but I was like this guy's cool he was actually at the floor price so I got in uh, basically at the cheapest you can buy one of these for so yeah he looked cool to me and I decided to just buy him that's kind of how I did the process um, I just browsed through all of them and found one I liked that was kind of a cheap price and pulled the trigger however if you're using rarity.tools we can get much more in depth and I'm going to show you guys that here real quick so just copying this um, So just searching up top here come back to cannabis crypto club and it's going to show you guys the ranks okay so by rarity it ranks every single one and you can go through and find the different rarities you can obviously see the ones that are for sale have the prices listed you could also just click on them and go make an offer over on OpenSea if you want to buy that one however i kind of recommend picking the ones that are for sale because those are the ones that are most likely going to be um, purchasable sometimes people are just collecting them you can try to make a high offer and maybe win one if that's what you guys want to do but i'm going to just show you another way to do it so if you've browsed through and you've found some traits that you really like and you're looking for one um, that you want to pick up with those traits they have all of the traits down below here on the side so just scrolling down um, we can do that and let's just do like the shirt let's say like we really like the spicoli shirt like i do um, that's kind of what sold me on that guy so let's come down and see where's that right here um, this is Spicoli and there's 185 with the Spicoli shirt so it's not super rare but you can see you know all the different rarities of the ones that are available how much of each one so it looks nice um, you know nice easy graphical user interface we call that the GUI so I really like this rarity.tool so we can click that and now we're filtering out strictly by the Spicoli shirt if that's what we wanted and looking at we see all the different ones here um, the next thing we might want to do is say I really like those rainbow vipers so let's go over there to the eyes and coming up to rainbow vipers let's see where are they right here there's only four so four Spicoli shirts that also have the rainbow pit viper and here we go so um, I have obviously mine here is one of four that fit those two criteria the rainbow pit vipers and the Spicoli shirt 
So, you know, for me, if I was looking for those two things, my guy, I really like those two. I could come here and then see um, the different ones for sale. This one's for three ETH. This one's for 2.27 ETH. That one has a smoke background, which is super rare. Um, but mine actually, I like the best out of all three of these other than the smoke background. Um, the other one, you know, even that one with the hat is cool, but uh, the dreads is really sweet. I like that. So um, there we go. It's actually a one of one. If we were looking for three different things, if we were looking for locks, rainbow vipers and the Spicoli shirt, all three, this is literally a one of one. So in that case, it makes it rare guys. A lot of these, if you go down to specifics like that, they're all gonna be one of ones and that's what makes each one a unique. Now, is this actually super rare? Um, really it's not guys. So we can see just right up on the very top, guys, it ranks all of them. So uh, in terms of actual rareness, this is 6,073. Uh, not that rare, but again, it's rare to someone who's looking for these traits, right? And then if we checked it on OpenSea, it was the price you guys wanted. That's kind of how I'm recommending doing this. So let's take a look at another project that I actually just got in on last night. Um, I minted my own, I got two of them and that is the apes of space so again these are sold out they did 10,000 and there was a little bit of controversy on these guys last night so the price was a little bit weird um, originally i guess they were supposed to do like 6,000 and something and then a few days before they changed it to 10,000 because they needed to make sure they had enough for the demand and then they put the extra eth into a community chest for the community to vote on how they use it and move the project forward so that's kind of cool but some people didn't know about it and they were getting mad and they were like fudding it in the discord and then they were um, selling before they even had been revealed for less than they paid to mint them. So it's just a real weird market on these guys. Um, but I did get involved in it because I thought it was cool. Um, it looked, you know, these guys are like space chimps and apes and um, there's been a whole bunch of projects around like apes and space and chimps and different things like that. So just kind of combining a few hot topics here hoping that um, we can capitalize on it and again they look super sweet so the artwork is the main thing guys if you're not into the artwork obviously don't get involved in the project unless you're literally just looking to flip but i saw this one i saw the artwork i kind of liked the theme and everything like that and i said let's go so just coming back to OpenSea on my other bitrush wallet we can see these two apes that i was able to pick up last night uh, both of them are pretty sweet here and I have them for sale trying to flip. So basically I minted them at 0.035 and I have this one for sale for double and this one for sale for a little over triple. Okay guys, so um, what my goal here is basically if I can sell one for double or possibly triple, I've you know, made my initial money back and I still have another one to sell either for profit or I can just keep it and take it off the market. But what my real goal is, is I'd like to sell both of them and make a little bit of profit on both of these and then go back in and find one that's kind of rare that I really like to keep in my wallet as a collectible, right? So if I can flip these two, make a little bit of profit, go back in and pick one that has all the best possible traits that I could want using the rarity tools like I just show you guys, um, and that would, you know, basically get me one that I want to keep. These ones are both pretty rare. This one has this rare moon background. So I'm just going to show you guys that it is uh, 5105. So coming back over here, let's switch over to this other project, which is the Apes of Space. And that was 5106. So we can look our guy up. And here we can see he is ranked 4,269. So out of 10,000, that's not bad. It's in the top, like, you know, half at least, the top uh, 50%. And uh, we have his rarity score here. And it tells you, like, the base for these. Like, 0 0.03 is the base for someone wearing the China suit. At the highest, it's 16 ETH. The glasses, the base is 025. And you can kind of just get a picture of all the different things here if you didn't want to, you know, go through and see all of them. And based on that, I have it for sale at the price I do, which is 0 0.07 ETH. But let's go through and take a look at some of these. So we have the background is the cheese planet. We have the accessory is the chain. And we have the improved space helmet and the green rhino. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Uh, so let's just do a couple of those and see what we get. 
So again, we're gonna scroll down and the background for that one was the Cheese Planet. There's 611, so again, not super rare, but when we click through to that, we can then go through to the body and find the green. So if we were looking for a green one with that background, there's only 52 available. So a lot less. Let's just say those are the traits we wanted to find. Now there's only 52 with the cheese background and uh, the green monkey here. Uh, some of them haven't even been revealed yet, but obviously they know what the traits are. And so you can't see it, but they're there. Next, let's look at the clothes and do the China spacesuit. And look, there's only one. So we click China spacesuit and we have mine, BitRush Crypto. So if you're looking for all three of those things, again, it's a one of one, guys. Um, these are all kind of unique in their own way. So what gives them, um, you know, basically the price and value is if one, someone's looking for some of these traits that you have that are all combined, like they might not necessarily be super rare traits individually, like there might be 500 and, you know, each one of these. But when you narrow it down to this with this with this, these couple items, it might be a one of one that somebody wants and that might make it rare and somebody might give you a high offer for it. Um, originally I had this for sale for like seven ETH, just kind of joking around to see if anyone would bite it last night. And then I lowered it down based on, you know, kind of looking at some of these rankings and where it is. Um, but again, it's in the top 400 and really it's not that expensive. So if somebody wanted to pick one up, I think this is a great value. I actually have it on sale for way less than I probably should just because I want to kind of flip this and get the process going of continuing to um, get involved in more NFT projects. And I'm only looking to keep one of them. And the one I wanted to keep was the other one out of the two. Um, this one's really cool actually with the glasses and the green monkey. Um, but coming back to the other one, um, he actually has the rarer background with this moon background with the Bitcoin flag and everything. So if I was going to keep one of the two, I was going to keep that one. I actually think this one is the rarer one, but I just like that one better. So again, guys, that's just the way it is. Um, hopefully I sell one of these and we can keep this process going with some more NFTs and I'll keep you guys updated with those in the future. Also, you guys can see I have my NFTs from the 10K. If you guys are interested in those, the BitRush Hotties, I still have a few of those available. The deluxe one, which comes with the background and a digital art sketch of the concept is 120 USDC and 54 the half shot there. Um, and we're going to be having some more of those coming out not too long when I hit some more epic milestones with the channel. Hopefully 15k will be the next one. So let's take a look at a couple more projects that have recently come out. To do that, we're going to take a look at the wallet of Red No Spit. So he's the member of our uh, Telegram chat that's kind of got us into NFT. He's been dropping all these links and he's he knows a little bit more about it than me he's been a little bit more involved i've been kind of focusing on bitcoin trading lately but we're going to take a look at his wallet and see some of the projects he's been getting in on just so you guys can see some other ones that have kind of been popular in the past couple months here i'm um, taking a look most recently we have the satoshables um, we can see obviously he was in the cannabis club there he got me involved in that one kind of told me about it here we have the board ape club this is a really big one that kind of took off here um, we have these uh, Drippies Polygon Moon Wolves, so those are really popular as well. I remember seeing a bunch of these on Twitter um, coming down. Look, he did get a 10K. I dropped that in his wallet for helping us out. If you didn't know, there you go. Surprise. Um, we also have some like Blazed Cats here. We have these Crazy Lizard Army. We have a Great Ape, um, Sad Frog District, Lord of the Doge, High Club comma gang just a bunch of cool different ones guys that have kind of been popular and out he's been staying up on this stuff like i said and knows about all these ones um, which ones are good to get in on so um, those are a couple of the ones that he's purchased and he's also told us he's going to continue to post upcoming projects uh, in the telegram chat so again guys if you're not already a member of the bitrush community in telegram it's completely free go over here and sign up so another one that's been on his radar that he just told us is coming up in a few days here on august 15th actually that's tomorrow is wanderers so wanderers.ai is the website right here and this is a cool little space project it's something a little different than what other people are doing and that you're going to get inside of a spacecraft it's going to show you a little journey here and the different 
um, panels, you're going to have different accessories in your hands, and then it's going to be going out and um, doing like some kind of actually animated series. So that's kind of cool. I forgot I was looking at this. So um, a lot of cool stuff with this one. He's excited about this one coming up here tomorrow, and it's 0 0.08 ETH to get involved if you guys want. Um, so that one is coming up. That's one on the horizon. If you guys are watching this video today or early tomorrow, you can probably get in on that. And in addition to this one, um, another one that I'm kind of in on and been waiting for is this um, Chiwa token. So this is on Binance Smart Chain. I believe this was part of like the Duck Dow incubator or whatever. They tweeted on it or something like that. Um, so this was kind of popular here. And basically what it was is I got some of these Chiwa tokens and then I got Chiwa Mom tokens airdropped to me in an equal part. And you guys can still buy both of these tokens if you want to get in on this project and you hold equal parts of these tokens and basically what they're going to do is breed and you're going to get chi pup and i believe chi pup isn't actually going to be a token it's going to be a nft or the tokens are nfts or something i'm not sure exactly how this is going to work guys this is kind of a first of its kind um, we can see the roadmap here, but they also have mentioned on their Twitter, if you take a look at that, that you're going to be able to hold other tokens such as like Shiba Inu or um, actual Doge or maybe some of those Bernard tokens. And you're going to be able to use those tokens to cross with your Chi Mom or Chi um, Chiwa tokens and make like crossbreed NFT tokens. So just some really unique stuff that they're going to actually cross with other chains that aren't even necessarily part of their project. Uh, so really cool stuff coming with this one. I'm still waiting to get any Chi Pub. I've been holding my Chiwa and my Chi Mom for some time now, a couple weeks here. So just waiting for an update on this one, but thought I'd drop you guys a uh, mention on this, just something that's coming up. Um, that looks to be something cool, one of a kind, unique, and the first mover in the marketplace. I haven't seen anything else of this kind where the tokens become NFTs, the tokens can be crossed or bred with each other just by holding them in your wallet like every week. And so we'll see something, um, you know, hopefully some good news with this one. It's an exciting project and I look forward to big things with this one, hopefully. So again, guys, just to recap, we have our Crypto Cannabis Club uh, recently got in on that one. I have the Apes of Space recently bought that just yesterday, looking to get into the Wanderers here. Um, several others I showed you guys in Red Nose Spitz Wallet. And those are some recent ones. And I know Satoshiables is one of the most recent there. And then again, looking forward to whatever uh, Chiwa token is coming out with here soon. If you guys are interested in any of my NFTs and purchasing them, you guys can find them over here at slash bitrush crypto on OpenSea.io. And I'll leave a link for that in the description below. And I also have another one for my Bitrush 1 million account. I'll link if you guys want any in that wallet. I'm looking to sell these apes. If you guys are interested in those, go ahead and pick one up and a bunch of other cool NFTs that I have here as well. That's it for today's video. If you guys do enjoy NFT content, you want more stuff like this, maybe me showing you a couple upcoming projects that haven't launched yet before they do that I'm interested in or doing more recaps on recent NFT projects and what I like and what's going on, make sure you smash the thumbs up on the video and leave a comment below letting me know. It does help. I do look at the comments and if people are letting me know what kind of content they like, I will do more of that content for you guys, okay? But the best way to do it is to share it on social media and pound the thumbs up button that lets me know how much you guys love this type of content i hope you guys did enjoy again thanks for watching happy crypto and let's get those nfts